I'm trying to beat this sickness that I got. I have a sore throat and a dry cough since Monday night. <laughs> Let's see if I can make a juice that will help. So I have pineapple core from when we had pineapple Monday and I saved the core to make juice and two oranges and a quarter of pomegranate. I bought this pomegranate for Thanksgiving, you know, to have it on the table just because they're pretty and we like the flavor, but I totally forgot about the pomegranate. And since I started being sick, I started getting like a, an edge and having it with juice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the oranges in there first. You see the progression. Trying to stay positive. I can do this. I will get better and I'll be able to enjoy Christmas. That's all I want. All I want is to be healthy. <sighs> Stay positive. One already fell on the floor. doesn't happen again. Uh, pineapple. I think this will taste really good. I know. It's pretty powerful. Got the water. I could add some honey. I can only taste the orange. I think I'm gonna put more pomegranate. They're so beautiful. It looks like a jewel. And I'm gonna strain it because there's a lot of seeds and lots of fiber. Man, this is taking longer than I thought. But I wanna get all the juices out. I don't have any left in here. It made two cups. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It tastes like flavored water. It's definitely not the strong juice. It looks strong because of the color. But it's nice and smooth, refreshing. Mm, I can definitely taste pineapple now. It's like a hint of pineapple. I made this gluten-free bread yesterday. I didn't make the recipe. I didn't develop the recipe, but this is the best gluten-free bread I've ever had. And I tried a bunch from the stores and a couple recipes that didn't turn out. But this, look at the texture. It was crescent roll recipe gluten free i'm really impressed like the layers and the fluffiness like you can squish it it's not hard and it's not dry and it tastes good i'll put the link for the lady's website that i found this recipe she's amazing i tried other recipes from her but i've always been skeptical about bread recipes because every single one i tried before failed and it was just not good and this is perfect i made it yesterday for dinner and ate a bunch of soup. It made 12. 
it, it just takes a little bit of work because it's a lot of different flowers ingredients but it's totally worth it soft and delicious i'm eating it with meat and cheese i also made regular ones for my family because i'm the only one that is gluten intolerant so i made regular bread for them i also made the crescent roll shape but it wasn't a crescent roll recipe it was a regular roll so it got really big <laughs> and some of them got undone like the part that gets rolled around it came undone when i baked some of them it looked funny but the kids said they looked really good and yeah i need to i need to make this again i'm impressed i think the name of the site is the loopy whisk i'll put the link if you are gluten intolerant or you have to make gluten free stuff for someone definitely try this bread it it works people don't know how happy we get when we find something gluten free that it's delicious that it has good texture that it's not weird so it, it did make me happy yesterday and today even more because last night i was hungry so i didn't wait for the bread to cool down i was like eating right after the i got it out of the oven so the texture was a little denser because i heard that gluten-free baked stuff needs to cool down i think it cooks a little longer and the texture gets better after it cools down so since i didn't wait i was so hungry i ate it with the soup really fast but today is perfect it looks exactly like normal bread to me and it feels really soft i really like this 10 out of 10 